All praises to the Most High Yah and His only begotten Son, Hamashiach Yahweh This is Yashima Yam Halab with Remnant Regrafted, where we worship our Abba Yah in spirit in the explicit truth. Shalom, fam. Um, the name of this little chat that we're having today is Spoiled Milk. But before I get there, I want us to go to the scriptures, and I am reading out of the Hallelujah scriptures, by the way. But I want us to go to Hebrews 5 and 11, and it reads this. Concerning whom we have much to say and hard to explain, since you have become dull of hearing. For indeed, although by this time you ought to be teachers, you need someone to teach you again the first elements of the words of Yah, and you have become such as need milk and not solid food. For everyone partaking of milk is an experience in the word of righteousness, for he is a child. But solid food is for the mature, whose senses have been trained by practice and discern both good and evil. All praises to the Most High Yah for his word. And this is so true. We have a lot of people that are quote unquote uh, in the truth, Yasharala, children of Israel, that are still operating from a milk basis. And it, it, it's kind of sad too. Because when you deal with these type of people, and I'm speaking from experience here, but when you deal with people that have their PhD in milk and you try to enlighten them to, you know, some of the other things that the scriptures might say, they just don't comprehend it. But furthermore, they want to act like that you're wicked and you have no idea what you're talking about and you're off and you need to go pray and ask Yah for a better understanding. And that's a completely different other issue. But the name of this little chat, like I said, that we're having is spoiled milk and what is spoiled milk you might ask i'm glad you asked because i have a list of a few things that are, are just spoiling yasharala and spoiling the children of israel as we speak but spoiled milk is distractions it's stumbling blocks it's false doctrines that are literally taking our eyes off of yah and what we're supposed to be doing his work and and leading everyone astray but what are some of these uh Spoiled milk issues that Yasharala is dealing with is 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 the white man Esau or is is he the Arab man or is the earth flat or is the earth round or who's secretly transsexual or playing the Yahweh versus Yahuwah name game or flexing and vexing on the stranger and the Gentile and acting like salvation isn't for anybody that chooses to turn to Yah or even being caught up in culture instead of being caught up in the Hamashiach. Now, I ask you a question. Do any of these things that I just mentioned, do they get you into the kingdom? Do they lead you to a greater relationship with the Most High? Do they even allow you to be filled with the Ruach HaKadosh? And the question to that is no. You know, we, we've gotten to a point in time that these few things that, that, that I have mentioned here have become the new modern day doctrine of a lot of these camps in Israelite groups, and it's just not so. You know, whatever happened to repent for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. I mean, last time I checked, we're supposed to be picking up from where Shaul left off and where the other apostles left off. We're supposed to be a light unto the world and a light unto the Gentiles. And fam, if you're in a in one of these Israelite groups, and I'll go ahead and call it a cult. If you're in any one of these other groups that are preaching and professing these false doctrine and these things that are literally leading you away from the Most High, then I, I challenge you to pray, seek Yah. And I promise you this too, anybody that is focusing on, on, on these things, I guarantee that they don't have the Ruach HaKadosh or aren't operating from it. You know, that should be our main goal getting people to come back to the Mashiach or being grafted in or being regrafted in, getting people to repent and turn from their wicked ways, getting people to be filled with the Ruach HaKadosh so we can go out to all nations and, and get them right while we still got a chance. But this isn't going on. You know, people aren't praying for, for the power of the Ruach HaKadosh anymore. People aren't praying for deliverance. People aren't praying for wisdom. People aren't praying for understanding. They're praying for other people's downfalls because they don't believe in the, in the false 
doctrines that they're they're teaching and preaching and they want to go ahead and flex and vex and curse you this shouldn't be fam and as a matter of fact i want to go to uh first corinthians right quick too because shaul said it best because this is what our main focus should be fam not rather not serena williams and in uh president or first lady michelle obama are men that that's ridiculous what does that have to do with us walking close with the most high and really getting close to him and being filled with the Ruach. What does that have to do with the fruits of the spirit? What does that have to do with the gifts of the spirit? Absolutely nothing. But uh, once again, still in the hallelujah scriptures, but I want us to go to uh, 1 Corinthians 2 and, and 4. And this is Shaul speaking. But it says, in my words, in my preaching, were not with persuasive words of man's wisdom, but in the demonstration of the Ruach and of power in order that your belief should not be in the wisdom of men, but in the power of Allah. And boy, that, that, that is just so powerful because it, it's, it, it's not the wise words. It's not the spectacular vernacular that's bringing people into this truth and the light. It's the demonstration and the power of the Ruach HaKadosh. If we really want to be bringing people in, then, then then it's not our words. After all, we're just vessels. But it's the demonstration and the power of the Ruach. Very few camps that I see on Facebook or, or, or that I see on uh, YouTube or any of these other cats are, are professing the Ruach HaKadosh and being filled with the Ruach or even showing any of the fruits of the Spirit or the gifts of the Spirit or displaying the demonstration and the power of the Ruach. And this is is what we're supposed to be doing right now fam this is what's important this is what's important so let's stay focused and i'll even take it one step further when it goes to the ruach as well let's go to um let us go to i believe this is ephesians yes this is ephesians chapter one and verse 12 through 14 and it reads for us to be the praise of his esteem, those first having trusted in Mashiach, in whom you also, having heard the word of the truth, the good news of your deliverance, in whom also, having believed, you were sealed with the Ruach HaKadosh of promise, who is the pledge of our inheritance until the redemption of the purchased possession to be praised of his esteem. And it's like we read through scriptures like that, but it straight up says and literally says, and I'll reread that portion again, that it says the Ruach HaKadosh, we are sealed with the Ruach HaKadosh of promise, who is the pledge of our inheritance. I keep having conversations with people that are clearly must be Old Testament people or uh, Torah only about you know, the inheritance and how it's not for the Gentiles and how, you know, it, 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 they can't even be saved and how they don't even have salvation and how they're going to be serving us and all this other stuff, where it clearly says that the Ruach HaKadosh is the seal of the promise of our inheritance until the redemption of the purchased possession. So most of these Torah only cats don't even believe in the Ruach HaKadosh and they're one of, they're the fastest one talking about inheritance this and inheritance that and in this scripture it says the sign of our inheritance is the ruach hakadesh we need to wake up fam and really take the scriptures for what it says and read the scriptures and meditate on the scriptures day and night like that we told us to do and you know I, I don't mean to go off on a rant but it's just the most high really did put this on my heart just to share with y'all we we, we got to get this straight we got to cut this nonsense and we got to get back to the scriptures. We got to get back to being a light unto the world and a light unto the Gentiles. And truth be told, there is an awakening going on. And I know with certain uh, members in my family that they're starting to wake up and they hear the things that myself and my brother are saying, because me and my brother in the truth, all praises to the most high. Yeah, we've been in it. Um, for a little over three years now, but you know that awakening is reaching people that are in these pagan religions and they're starting to realize that, well, wait a second, you know, I've been going to church for 20, 30, 40 years, yet I haven't received my deliverance that the scriptures talk about. I haven't received the healing that the scriptures talk about. 
I haven't received that that wisdom and that understanding of the scriptures or the Ruach HaKadosh for that matter that the scriptures talk about. Something, you know, d doesn't seem right here. And when they're listening to the words that I might be saying or to the words that, you know, you ox and the Cody's out there might be saying, they might go on YouTube and look up. Well, let's see what Hebrew Israelite is and let's see what, you know, my family members is talking about. And what's the first thing that they see? Spoiled milk, unfortunately. And, you know, I live by and die by the scriptures. But whoever came up with that saying that first impressions are everything is the truth. And what does spoiled milk do? It leaves a nasty, rancid taste in your mouth. And this isn't the taste that we should be leaving in, in, in people's mouth based on ridiculousness, based on false doctrine, based on the, the, the ridiculousness and the ridiculous things that are going on in this world. You know, keep in mind, you know, this world has been given away to the hands of the enemy for a long time now. So the majority of the stuff that we see is going to be wicked. There's wickedness all around us. We th th This planet isn't our home. We're just sojourners passing by waiting for the Mashiach to come back and take us up. So why are we reporting on nonsense? Why are we making false religion on nonsense? We got to wake up. And we got to do it now, fam. Because we're more closer to the Mashiach coming back than ever before. All praises to the Most High Yah. And his only begotten son, Hamashiach Yahawasha. This was Yashamayam Halab with Remnant Regrafted, where we worship our Abba Yah in spirit in the explicit truth. Shalom, fam.